automatic guns. The guns was going to be in this one. Break it just before res. So they will troll. And they can also cover each other. So if one person goes in the space walk, another guy will go out with a rifle. You give him an arc of fire and stuff. Which is really cool. And we've got the first person mode. We tried it out today. Before. Should I hack this in quickly? And then I went, uh, let's just go with the really stable build. Yeah. And like, so this seed um, for the tutorial is fixed, but you get random seeds when you play the normal game, so you have to keep it for the tutorial is fixed, and we can, you can now fix seeds, so some of the players just start sharing their own seeds. Um, That's cool. I had, I, I, I had the seed for the tutorial yesterday, and one of these big creatures walks up, goes to sleep over here, and then gets stuck on the geometry of the lander. And then you get this alarm. So you've got these alarms from uh, like a stern woman in your ears. Um, yeah, base announcer. And I've built it like a half like two position. It has individual words and then and it can build sentences. So you'll hear like atmosphere, low, in, workshop, and like really cool in world atmospheric stuff. None no like no need for any GUI or just telling people stats. We I mean, added a few bits of GUI Find out what a room is by mousing over it and find out it's happening for status. Make that look similar to people who really feel they knew what they were doing. The research trees are like mostly working now. So, is the planet that your tutorial was in the line, is it um, life sustaining outside? No, so that's why there's the air. Line. So, the air's toxic. Why is there chickens? So, the chickens are not chickens, they're genetically enhanced super chickens. They're the Udubins. Oh, okay. Because, um, of course, if you're going to an alien world and you know what the atmosphere is in it, you're probably not going to genetically modify your humans. Because no. everyone lives in it. Um, about, you know, messing around with things. But messing around with the chickens, you know, why not? It's, you know, it's a food source. You, you know, if, if, if they can make it so they could breathe in an atmosphere flat of that planet, it's great. So that they can just be left outside. Although this is a terrible idea because there are roaming creatures who will find and yeah, eat no, the chickens and quite like finding and eating the chickens. Um, these don't like eating the chickens, yeah. so mostly animals. Um, but the creatures outside now are going to be as well, so sleeping. sleeping with his eyes open, which is a bit disconcerting. Um, but he is because he can see the predators and he's sleep. And see, so they're all going to sleep because it's dark outside. And once, once it goes dark outside, the... Uh, yep, Once it gets dark, uh, the nocturnal war rats now dig out of the ground. Uh, you'll see burrows around the base. That's what you see. You find these burrows around the base. The war rats will dig them out of them and then eat your equipment if they can't find out other things to eat in the. Uh, uh, death. So, but yeah, we've got this capsule land. We had that before, but it would only pop up when. It, it, the button would only appear once the time was done. Yeah. So people would be like, I can't see the button. Where's the button? So what it does is it sprays out the button and gives you a counter. So you know. And like, it's all these, there's nothing amazing. It's all just little bits of feedback that people just go, okay, the game feels really good now. All these little things have come together to make it. And also, I can show you the game 10 minutes without crashing. <laughs> and yeah, it's using 0% CPU with these machines. So you can run it. That's amazing. Uh, so how big can your, uh, is your planet allow you to build to at the moment? Is that a limitation? So that the, the, like the world scale yeah. is uh, it's, it's 2 kilometers by 2 kilometers in real life. So, so a man is 2 meters tall. So that times 1,000. So if you kind of scroll base, or is it guys going to have um, basically scroll forever. Okay, so that's so we are near the edge of the world here. Yeah. Um, but it's still a large area, isn't it? It's it's larger than you'll ever be able to go. Like and these are these are like this area is like set being separate. So what you could do is uh, come over here, get UMs to dig this out, build an airlock, um, build an airlock over here, and have completely separate base. Um, and have your opponents like running between bases, which would be terrible. Terrible logistics. But like again, you can just and each every individual plant is still growing in real time, um, fully simulated. 
I, they don't need to be corrected in every, every update they can be corrected. Complete waste of CPU, but apparently the game's using zeros for the CPU, so I, it's, it's up to nice enough that it's uh, just good, good. So you can like, print new inputs. There's lots of like, events that happen, like two so have earthquakes. I saw a guy yesterday have a really good base built up, and then an earthquake happened, and I just saw his entire base just fill yeah. out. Yeah. It's like, completely collapsed in on itself. And I just like, laughed, and then he was like, Was that supposed to happen? Maybe not when he was like, just done with the tutorial. But yeah. But yeah, I mean, there's so much going on, like the whole tech tree stuff. Are you playing with me? Yes. I'm actually a robot, and, and I take the AA batteries. <laughs> I was talking up, and he had a headphone in and I ran up to him and I was like, hey, how are you doing? And I saw like, him in the other side of the room he went, ah! <laughs> 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 yeah. So yeah, um, so like, research, I might cheat this, but I'm not serious. But you can build like tons of cool research stuff in the chat. You get like different perks and the perks are great items in your, in your game. And, like, some, some items get new models, some just get like more efficient. Uh, like tons of cool research stuff. So if you just go into yeah, the yeah, sort yeah. of life of the planet, for example, yeah. if there is earthquakes happening quite regularly, yeah. is there any way you can structurally reinforce your base to prevent? Yeah. So um, bulkhead doors. Um, these are uh, basically uh, uh, will stop any cave in where it's going. Also, when you get lava flows, which not in. They're, they're in the game, but they're not turned on for massive balance and performance reasons because they're a full fluid simulation. Yeah. And they just flood your base and everything gets refrigerated. Um, those are stopped as well. So, yeah. And then you can upgrade them to make more powerful ones. Um, building rooms structurally improves it. So, you can build this. This is just like a generic room casing. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a specific type of room. And so, every room is built like this, so you don't end up with a space between them. So the base is like reinforced. Also, people hate the way that the rooms are built because you always have to have space between them. Right. But what I like, there's like so many reasons. There's one because I want it to feel like structurally stuck in. But also, when the aliens come into a base, if you build hatching for the chickens, they'll kind of um, eventually, when they run out of food on the surface, come into your base. And I, I had it once happen at first. And they'll come in and start like, murdering all your chickens and murder the cats and dogs and maybe even some of your colonists and now again like eat them. Um, our base is running out of atmosphere. And that's yeah, that's kind of cool. And then like you can build a seismic monitoring station that um, gives you free warnings of the stuff that's just about to happen. I don't have any power, this is why my base is so yeah, you build microwave communications cameras and then you build basically uh, screen brightness and the screen to wait to fight. It's called seismic monitoring stations and uh, I'm cheap on them. They um, have a signal quality based on the radio the waves, and it's actually simulated radio waves. So it's inverse square root. So you start losing the signal as you move away, and then your your effectiveness of the object starts dropping once your signal comes to a point where your data rate drops below um, the amount which it wants to transfer. And, like, all these little, like, little bits of stuff like that. But that you, this will cause you to get emails. They go, we've noticed heavy seismic activity, um, and you get like a basic force. Seismic reading high, so we saw an earthquake or something. And it also collects research data. So, like everything has ties in to all the systems. Even when your colonists die, you get like research data. So, it's like, here's a little reward for the. So, they'll be random. They'll tell you what they need, they'll tell you how they're feeling. This guy's pretty optimistic. Um, and he's complaining about the storm front coming. So, we can 
the short term outlook is mostly clear. So we get weather, and we can see that it's mostly clear, although it is actually still disappointing. Oh, because that was an earthquake, and that's a cave But the room uh, supported it, so dust came down, but nothing was nothing happening. And it wasn't that big, because the colonists have this really big one that shouldn't like. Panic. Panic. And the, the creatures outside went as well. Absolutely. So as our researchers started going, so they collected some plant samples from outside. As well. This is slowly collect data. The colonists are doing some research there. So is that the best thing to do? That's actually rather cool. Um, and you can collect fossils, so like um, there's lots of different ways. So, like, like on that poster, you can get proxies. Um, but I've, and that's not in yet. The code's all there for it. I just keep forgetting to do it. I have so many lapsed features. And you pay storage drives to store your story, uh, store your research. The thing about the tape storage drives is they literally store the research in the game world. So if a creature runs in or an earthquake hits and your tape storage drive is destroyed, you lose the research and you lose the ability to build those items or upgrade your items because you, yeah, you no longer have the research to do it. And then you have to what, re start from scratch? Yeah, well, you, you, you can do backups, so you should have a good backup regime and stuff. <laughs> now, I explained this to people who were like, the, the people were like, what? Why have you done this? Why didn't you say the fun game stuff? But, like, what's cool? So, uh, someone sat down yesterday, sat down like, playing it. They played it for. That's why my power's going out, there's no wind. Um, yeah, you can sit down and play for two hours. So, what we're doing, let's experiment, let's get tons of inputs to see what happens and what's the place with them. It's going to be like. You could, so, in later games, you research and get. Um, just to store energy. People really complained because they really didn't understand. Ooh. Oh, there you go. So that was a cave in. Uh, luckily, this this area has got really bad fog. There was this room there. Uh, and yeah, things so you simulate like fractures above your base. Sometimes they can fill in. Sometimes they can open up. Sometimes, um, if you're really unlucky, they can uh, open up like a rift and like that. That was. They can open up inside your base, and then it's um, already cracked out, cracked up to like love, and then they were like, testing. There was an earthquake, and a hole just opened up on the floor, and the dog was standing above it, and the dog went <laughs> down in the hole, and he was like, that was amazing. And completely like unplanned or anything, the game didn't decide to do it, it was just a complete chance that the dog was standing there. And he could be into and the imps like you to stuff and do stuff with you. Like, this guy's running around. And just, Where am I going? This? Okay, they don't have building tools, so I did need to dig out. The thing is, that, yeah, they tell you what they need. They want and like doors check, doors check, clean air check. So saying, you know, that's set up. Don't worry about that. There's a, you know, it feels like some of them are a bit hand clamped, because there's only a few combinations. Yeah. But, uh, you know, cool D. Cool float. So I still have it. Because there's a lot, there's like logic, you know, with, with building sentences and stuff, building structures and whole structures, not just dumping text out um, randomly and based on the patterns. Like you can get bonuses to speed up the speed which you get new colonists. And you can you can build like ridiculously huge bases that which is really nice. And you know like these are all my Kickstarter banks as well. So we've got a whole bunch of the other new Kickstarter bank heads going into the lock on the which is good to It's funny because it's like murdering people who gave them tons and tons of money. Um, like that's Stefan, I know them all by name, but I'm going to ask you. That's Jennifer. She won a competition to get a place in the game. We uh, didn't have enough female heads, so we need an exact even amount. We did actually get a lot of female back because we had the heads in the game. We need an even amount because uh, we have even amounts of men and women in the game. And if we didn't, we'd have to shorten the amount of people in the game. Uh, 
just think we've got like a move to us and an 18 now, so they're not in, but they're not going to call right final release. But like, we've got so we're not going to want to like people banging, banging on doors. So, you know, if you lock people into the doors in the rooms, it turns off the lights in the room as well. So you can like drive people insane by leaving them in dark rooms, and the sanity does drop, and then you start getting mildly creepy. Poems and haikus and stuff. We got a, we got like five million haikus. That's awesome. And so this is our first bit of research has come up. Special stuff. I wonder if they say there are two things you should never see, see being made. Doors and sausages on there. You might want to crash this whole thing. Be glad we can't be self-sufficient. So that's a perk which allows you when you kill the local fauna to turn into food instead of research. You can still research it too. And this thing is like adding lots of different ways that we can use our base. Lots of little items we don't have to build, but could be the way that you gather. Yeah, because that's one of those holes that you can put in the ground. Because what happens is that's basically like a shoe and shit. No, what you're doing is that's what you're doing. We're being very lazy with this. It's pretty fancy. You may need to lock the door down here. Oh, wait, yes. Yeah, that would be it. I locked them in a room. You'll see them all like rush out in a second. But yeah, the other thing. Yeah, so now the game's stable, you can play it, and the comments do stuff, and they're funny, and there's stuff happening, and uh, there's events. So now it's like looking at that and going, cool, well, let's see what features we need to flesh out more, what things are not. I have a different t shirt. A lot of it's like how, how, how many more interactions can we come up with to make things a bit more interesting. Because uh, you can click on every object in the world, it's like the door unlocked. And you know, even the door's AI gets angry when you lock them out. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then like they get angry when the power goes out. And, and there's things in the first person mode that want to be getting into that. You can possess anything uh, mechanical or computer based. You can possess a door. And all you can do when you possess a door is just close the door and open the door. So you see Connors coming up to you and you're like, knocked. And then you see them go. Let's <laughs> walk away, it's great. I see we've had someone die. Um, I'm going to have to yeah. cut short now. Cool. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Nice. So, thank you very much for showing me the new build. This looks a lot more in depth, a lot more detailed, a lot better. Yeah, sorry. There you go, there's, there's a massive cave in it, it's killed all those robots. Yeah. We will, they don't get death reports actually. They don't, then, yeah. We don't get that. No, it's cool. It, it's interesting. Yeah, I do. Thank you very much for booking me in today.